because of the record heat wave sweeping much of the southern U.S., they've decided to close the roof and turn the A.C. to full blast here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. Well, the Falcon offense ready to go here, and last season for them, Charles, a 7-9 finish. And not too many talking about the Falcons in the lead-up to 2020. Certainly all the focus in the NFC South has gone to Tampa Bay and New Orleans. But could this team, do they surprise folks and jump into contention for the division title? They certainly believe so, and they thought they should have been in contention the last couple of seasons. Remember, they went 6 and 2 over the last half of last season, so they thought they were starting to figure things out, and now they acquired Todd Gurley to help run the football. But defensively, they've got to get a pass rush. Just 28 sacks last year, second fewest in the league. Vic Beasley's now in Tennessee. They need Tack McKinley to rush the passer, and can they get the big output out of Dante Fowler, who they acquired this offseason. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. He was tackled at the Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. It's third down. And eight yards to go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And he completes this to Russell Gage. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Ten yards there to first down for the Falcons. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. On fourth down, the Falcons trot out the rookie punter from Syracuse, Sterling Hoffrichter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Not too shabby here. This will skip out of bounds at about the 12-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense going to work, coming off a disappointing 2019 season. 8-8 eight and eight the final record, no playoff berth. And no shortage of off-season storylines either, starting with Jason Garrett out and Mike McCarthy in. Yeah, that was one way to eliminate the gloom of everything you talked about, how they finish the season with a chance to go to the playoffs and don't get in. But when you change your head coach, it brings in that optimism. Now remember, this is a franchise that's gone 24 years since their last NFC Championship game appearance. So Mike McCarthy understands his mission, and it's to win championships, and he won a Super Bowl in Green Bay. And Charles, there, there are certain franchises where it's get to the playoffs, win big or bust. And you mentioned that number with Dallas, how long it's been. But it, this still feels like it's that franchise, right? They need to win or their fans aren't satisfied. Their fans aren't satisfied. People around the league expect them to contend for a Super Bowl each and every year. The big thing for them now, Dak Prescott, he got signed on the franchise tag, so he'll be their quarterback. But will the defense rise up? Because remember, they lost Robert Quinn, Byron Jones, Gerald McCoy went down in training camp with an injury. So they really need Mr. Tank Lawrence to come to the front. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. 
So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11 at the 31-yard line. Second and 11. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. I know I'm one of those that overuses certain terms. And this one, explosive, is what we use for a lot of receivers. But that's Calvin Ridley. Nice catch there. And not only is he explosive, he's been very productive. Since being drafted in 2018, one of the top touchdown rates in the league as a wide receiver. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Ryan looking middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and now it's third down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, Ryan. And that one's complete to Gurley. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. Well, linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So if it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's one of the dangers of the quick game. If you only have a two- or three-step drop, if you don't get the ball to someone open right away, those defenders are right near the line of scrimmage, and they can get on top of you in a heartbeat. Second and ten now from the 27. Throwing again. Ryan. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. It's a gain of Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Gurley again here on first down. 
He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line. He was brought down at the On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. To throw on second and six, Ryan. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Russell Gage there to make the grab. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. The return man, Wilson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, that'll bring up second down. Got out of the pocket, didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. A second down throw for Prescott. Trying for Cooper again, this time he finds him. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That's a game I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure, when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. screen pass to break big a lot of things have to come together and be well executed but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game second and nine from the shotgun Ryan and that's incomplete Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. But now it'll be third down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. 
After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Catch there by Julio Jones, and let's face it, we're almost running out of ways to say he's great. So let's put it into this context. Third among active players in receiving yards, starting 2020, just 852 yards behind tight end Jason Witten. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Ryan going right back to Jones. This time the connection made. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Julio Jones has averaged 90 receiving yards per game every season since 2013. And when you factor in that every game plan calls for them double and triple covering him, yet he's still putting up those kind of numbers, that tells you the excellence of Julio Jones. And it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked by Darrell Worley. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. And it's up and good. That ties the game at seven. this to the 22. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Three yards the game there, second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. His throw is going to be incomplete. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. Third down here. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun, Ryan. And he will go down. Sack. The take, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. When you throw it as often as Matt Ryan does, you're going to face some pressure. And he tied for the most sacks last year with 48 as he got sacked there again. But he also led the league in completions. A little bit of feast and famine when Matt Ryan goes back into the pocket. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And taken at the 46. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys are going to take over a great position here with a first and ten. And out now come the Cowboys. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. And nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Prescott. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. That catch good for five. It's third down. Complete to Amari Cooper. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and three. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. These two teams all tied after one. With the score tied, seven to seven. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. It's complete, right around the eight. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Didn't have anything downfield, swung it out to the flat, he did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. <laughs> Throwing again. Ryan. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Lewis. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Intercepted. The first down carry by Elliott. And they'll get this down to the 10. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. That's pretty much 
meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Man, and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Looking to throw, Prescott. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Brings up third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Prescott from the gun. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. On for the field goal. A 28-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, it's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Falcons offense set to go. They find themselves down 17 to seven as they start this drive first and 10. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he will go down outside of the pocket. He was sacked, trying to get away, but could not. Don Terry Poe marches in for the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now a draw play for Gurley. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. 
He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. At the Falcons, 31-yard line. Working with a second and three. back five yards by the delay of game second and eight they'll try to throw now Prescott that one complete Elliott six yards on the pickup and that'll lead here to a third down oh I came to my feet on that one I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big but in the end give some credit to the defense finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down a couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. They'll hit the slant route. Well, that's caught by Cooper. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Here's Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Zerline connects on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. the kicks away this taken in about four yards deep and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return 
The Falcons ready to take over. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now a quick slam as the throw is complete. The 40, 20, 10, touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 75 yards. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big-time play, big-time result. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And Charles Hoy touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. <laughs> They'll start the drive with Elliott. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. The ball carrier. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down and three. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Ezekiel Elliott. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 44, Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Prescott from the gun on third. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time.
throwing now. Ryan on first down. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first and 10, it's Ryan. And he's got his man on the out route. The first down Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. It's a game well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Ryan. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Ryan will throw again. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Then he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Throwing again, Ryan. His throw incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you. Try and score when given the opportunity. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Out of the gun, here's Prescott, and an incomplete pass. And that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turned into a nice play. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Prescott now. Open man lamb, it's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down.
First down, Prescott. This to Jarwin. Three yards the gain there, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Got a man, it's Brown. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. At the 31-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half. Prescott caught. It's Wilson. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing, Prescott. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. To throw is Prescott. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Falcons take so we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try to play field position maybe, turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. three when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. On third down. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. First down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking deep for Julio. And that's caught inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. 
First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. Got his tight end. It's Jaden Graham. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. Touchdown. Julio Jones. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. Kuh now for the point after. For the point after. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Cowboys 24, Falcons 21. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And this will make it into the end zone. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. And now here come the Cowboys. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Going underneath, complete to Jarwin. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Jarwin. They gave him the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and eight coming up. Prescott from the gun. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Ezekiel Elliott, the ball carrier. Brady Jarrett with the tackle. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From just shy of midfield, Prescott throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Forced out to his left. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, 
draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. Prescott gets this to the tight end, Jarwin. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 29-yard line. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. A first down throw for Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. That is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now a handoff for Gurley. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And that is incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Pulled in at the 24. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. 44-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down.
The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Allian. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From just shy of midfield, Prescott, he's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 35. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. This one to Jarwin over the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Prescott looks to throw on first. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. To throw again on second down. Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. taken about a yard deep and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 
Atlanta now coming out on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the shotgun, Ryan. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. From the gun on third down, Ryan. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. The Falcons will go for it. It's Ryan. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. That catch good for only a couple. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw again is Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. The Falcons on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and four. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first down, it's Gurley. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another carry now for Gurley. 
And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah. And yeah, that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. Calvin Ridley. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Falcons get a bit closer. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. The kick is good. Makes the score Cowboys 38, Falcons 28. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Now it's Wilson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They start on the ground with Elliott. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Again, it's Elliott. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That third down conversion, good for 23. First well, Bart, there's a pretty easy explanation for his success in this one. He's very comfortable throwing the football. Did you just see that one? In the pocket, no real pressure, yet to be sacked today. When he's that comfortable, that leads to those types of completions. Prescott on first down. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he's taken down inside the 30. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. Great move, but still wrangled before reaching the 20. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field 
can really generate big plays for an offense. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Amari oh, Cooper there to make the grab. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And man, Charles, talk about singing something in there. And those gloves, they help with one hand and catches the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. A gain of those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Throwing again on second down. Lyon, this one caught by Ridley. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Ryan, that catch good for only a couple. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. This pass into the hands of the running back, Todd Gurley. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Ryan will throw again. Complete to Jones. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Ready, 
Throwing again. Ryan. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five at the 44-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan. And that one his first incompletion in its last six passes. And it's third down. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Again, Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 19. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Ryan. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Looking for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. This offense two for two converting on these thus far, so why not try again here on fourth down? They'll go for it. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Isn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. He's brought down by from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. Brings up second and five at the 25-yard line. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.